Ladies and gentle ladies, there is a new character coming to Genshin Impact by the name of Emily. And does she look absolutely the strongest DPS we've had since Arlecchino? Okay, it hasn't been that long since Arlecchino. She does seem really, really powerful. And we're going to see what exactly she does and what we could possibly expect. Here we go. We have this little preview here thanks to their little uh event on their website and she looks absolutely strong first things first you can see that she has this little thing that pops up it's i don't know some sort of perfume diffuser and your mental skill you know summons one and it fires off little dandro stuff that does a little bit of damage and those accumulate damage and scale off of stacks and these stacks you can have a maximum of three but through the elemental skill we get two and it goes crazy since you have all the stacks you get more damage and not only that but once you use your elemental burst you sort of reset the cooldown for your elemental skill so you can have that on the actual field for a long period of time and thanks to burning she does more damage to your opponents and i mean more damage this is just a passive that she has not only that but each time she collects two cents level two case or whatever it's called deals aoe dendro damage for a lot and let me tell you it is a lot of attack not only that but because she does deal burning with you know pyro characters you know you can do off field on field whatever it is you can do more damage thanks to her passive with each, I think, thousand attack or something like that. And you can get a lot of damage bonus from this way. She is going to be absolutely incredible. She does have another passive which helps you like reduce pyro damage from burning, which is interesting. So yeah, there, there's that. So basically her kit is entirely based off of this little thing that you have the the case or whatever's called the limudos case and she deals damage over time and it is a lot of damage it's not a little it's a lot not to mention this is dendro it doesn't have to be uh you know burning it doesn't have to be like that obviously you're doing more burning damage thankfully which is nice and you're doing more damage because they are burning but you can do a lot with this and I definitely think she's going to be a really powerful asset to your Genshin roster. She's going to be incredible and she looks great too. So let's just see some of the other stuff uh, that we're going to get. So this is the Ludos Elegy. It's, it's kind of cool, but um, it's a little too girly <laughs> for me. But yeah, I mean, it looks kind of cool. But yeah. And then we've got a, I think this is a skin for Nilu and we've got a Kirara skin as well. Um, I mean, I, I don't really care for the skins too much, but I guess they look sort of cool. Um, you can also get Kirara for free, which is also pretty nice. Uh, Kirara is a great, you know, dendro shielder, so might as well just you know, get a little quick pickup. And then we've got some more events here on the side as well. But I sort of still want to talk about Emily. Emily is still going to be a fantastic character for you getting because she works in a lot of teams. I'm just imagining Furina with Emily, with um, any Electro character doing Hyper Bloom, any Pyro character. We've already seen like uh, Arlecchino do some crazy stuff with uh, Emily, which is really, really nice. And we've also seen, we've already seen Toma also, which is super nice as well. He has that, you know, beautiful uh, in his burst where he does, you know, arrow over time, which is really, really nice. But obviously you don't have to use Toma. You can use Shangling. I know, I said, I said Shangling. I'm sorry, but Shangling can do a lot of damage and can do pyro over time, which means that Emily is going to benefit a lot from She's going to be a really powerful character. She's going to be really strong. I definitely believe that because not only is she dendro, that, that means she can do a lot of dendro reactions, but because of her actual passive, increasing her own damage, increasing the damage she does burning characters, 
and because of the artifact <laughs> artifacts well maybe you you know forgotten the artifact set that drops alongside um harmonic whimsy this has a two piece of 18 percent attack as well as the four piece after leaving combat which is really easy for emily you deal 50 percent increased damage so use your elemental skill with emily the little diffuser perfume thing the fires the dendro stuff with their elemental skill pops off you get two stacks you scale damage emily scales damage they do burning and then you have this artifact set also increasing that damage dealt by incre by an increase of 50 percent just just no reason you put on you put on emily on the field she does the elemental skill you have any other pyro character in the field that does burning which is really easy because you have a million pyro characters right and you get an instant 50 percent damage increase and a two piece of attack percentage plus 80. it is insane it is genuinely really strong she's going to get bad you know damage bonus from her own kit she's going to get burning damage increase from this he does so much already and my brain is firing on all cylinders i can't believe how much damage she's going to deal and i don't know if the burning will matter that much but the damage that you'll be dealing because they are burning that's where it's at and that's where i think her actual you know quality lies that's where her value is and i definitely think she's going to be a good character because of that but yeah that is pretty much all i wanted to say i mean i said a lot a lot of like hearsays whatever but once emily comes out i'm going to show you guys how powerful he actually can be but yeah it's going to be pretty much it if you guys got something out of this video let me know in the comment section i'll see you guys in the next video of vexed in the next video very soon